performance is relative in the 2018 Honda Accord while it boasts an engine borrowed from Honda's hottest hatchback in years and its sports manual transmissions across the lineup, speed was never the Honda Accord's mission realizing that not every commute needs to be a track day workout, the Accord gets a 7 out of 10 on our scale for performance the most popular engine and transmission combination is fine it's the handling and ride that makes it a standout. Four out of five Honda Accords on the road will feature a 1.5-liter turbocharged inline 4 that makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque mated to either a six-speed manual transmission or continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. This Accord doesn't hide its pedestrian intentions the engine is tuned toward low-end grunt, an unintended consequence of swapping and fuel-efficient turbochargers off the line acceleration may fool drivers into believing that the base turbo 4 has more gusto than it does, that's okay. Deep stabs at the throttle will reveal that the Turbo 4 runs out of ideas somewhat quickly, and adding the manual transmission only makes it worse despite our affirmation that CVTs are from the underworld, we've found religion, it's the pick in the Accord because it won't highlight this engine's limited capabilities Honda dropped the V6 this year in favor of another Turbo 4, this time borrowed from the hot Civic Type R hatchback the Accord's version has been detuned to 252 horsepower and 273 pounds FT, with a revised engine map that won't kink necks or fluster backs. The bigger engine is mated to either a 10-speed automatic borrowed from the Odyssey or a 6-speed manual, again, plucked from the Type R we say skip the manual here too, the clutch pedal is impossibly light, with a high take-up, and a unique linkage for the Accord results in long throws for the shift of the 10-speed is more than adequate, and when equipped with paddle shifters, it's the Accord's best life we'd ask for a less complicated gear selector, the shifter has been replaced with a series of bop it buttons, pull for reverse, push for drive or park, but these are small annoyances. Honda makes the decision easier for us this year too, opting for the manual doesn't save any money this time around a revised electric power steering system that uses adjustable ratios is a first for the Honda Accord it's a quicker rack at the edges, slower in the middle for longer slogs on the interstate when the steering wheel should feel optional it's well weighted and much better than the outgoing version, which felt soggy to us in comparison.